The memory that always comes to mind when I think of Dalla Lana is my first day on campus, day zero, week zero, getting lost trying to find my way to an auditorium. One of our favorite memories was having a potluck at the seventh floor lounge and just be able to connect on that level too is something I haven't experienced before. So that for sure has been one of the best parts of being at Dalla Lana. Well, I was really drawn to Dalla Lana because of how, how comprehensive the program was, how innovative, how it focused on equity and equality and really raising marginalized voices. So my program at Dalla Lana was made up of about 25 students in the Nutrition and Dietetics program. Each of my classmates came from a different background with different interests. To be able to talk about one issue and to see it from so many different perspectives was very rewarding. I really appreciated the opportunity to be able to dabble in qualitative research, mixed methods, uh, statistics. The caliber of the students and instructors, it, it really helped you know, set everything over the top. Dalana has a diverse and world-class faculty. Uh, they're coming from various areas of public health. I wanted to be the best, so I wanted to make sure that I studied with the best. The thing that gives me hope is when I see our students, and now our graduates and our alumni, actually giving the passion that they brought at the beginning of the program back into the system. Having the skills, the capacity, and really the desire to lead so that everyone uh, can be healthy. We need to render the voices of the invisible visible. There's no better time to be doing what you're doing. There's no better time to be working in health research and health policy and related fields. And I would say continue to platform marginalized voices. This pandemic has brought a whole other layer of difficulty to graduating, so the fact that you've made it this far is, is extremely wonderful and everyone needs to recognize that. If I had a message to give to graduating students, it would be keep striving, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, I think I always say keep thriving and surviving. You are the future of public health. To the graduating class of 2021, I definitely say we have succeeded during a time of great uncertainty, great unrest uh, in Canada, in the US and beyond. We've had a lot of Zoom me meetings, we've had a lot of Zoom fatigue, and we've made it through. So I definitely tip my hat to everyone and I want to say that, you know, this is just the start. There's not just opportunities for work, but there's opportunities to make real change in your communities. This has been probably the most challenging year at the university I can ever remember and probably in the last hundred years, but you've made it through. You've achieved, you've graduated, and there's no time more than now that the system really needs you. Republicans, parents, friends and family, faculty and everyone watching today. Welcome to the Dalalana School of Public Health Graduation Celebration 2021. Before I begin, I wish to acknowledge this land on which the University of Toronto operates. For thousands of years, it has been the traditional land of the Huron-Wendat, the Seneca and the Mississaugas of the Credit. Today, this meeting place is still the home to many Indigenous people from across Turtle Island and we are grateful to have the opportunity to work on this land. And I'm grateful that I serve on this land. I'd like to pay my respects to all ancestors and present elders. So here we are, once again, celebrating your achievements online. It was no small feat. You've pivoted and thrived through online work assignments and courses. Some of you have taken on extracurricular activities or projects related to the pandemic, all the while managing competing deadlines. Many of you have been living under a multitude of pressures in the last year. And today, we're gathered here together to congratulate you on this important achievement in your professional journey. Before I proceed any further, I want to simply say, congratulations, you did it. Take this moment to soak, soak in this important moment and take joy and pride in your achievement. I know it was not easy. Learning new material as you make your way through the world can be challenging under any circumstances, let alone in the middle of a pandemic. And yet you did it. And you are leaving the school at a time when the public needs you most. At times it can feel like science is under siege. Misinformation is rampant. Our school's vision is to be the leading model for public health and health systems learning, research and service. 
with impact at the local and global levels. I think our school outdid itself in the last year. We did it because of you. But as you know, working in public health and health systems can be taxing at times. I have had one of the most memorable years of my life. It's been at turns dramatic, frustrating, exciting, depressing, <laughs> sometimes all of those. But it's always been fulfilling. Working with the many scholars, some of whom are your professors or future colleagues. And together, we found ways to translate important information that helped to inform policy and political action. Or at times, not. We're often battling many competing priorities in public health, much like you've done this year. But I want to make it clear that One Health is no longer just a saying or a theory. It has to be our approach. When a group of animals are in danger, when our environmental system is under stress, when a group of people fall ill, regardless of whether, where they are, we should all be concerned because we share the same health system. Their health is our health. And the rapid global spread of the COVID-19 pandemic is just one indication of the importance of One Health. And as we take this approach, it's important to remember that at times it may be difficult to change minds. If we believe in our work, we do the best we can to change and challenge those places where public health is threatened. And we can do so by communicating as effectively as we can. As you saw this year, the pandemic's wrath was not felt equally, nor was it understood equally. And so when we think about the goal in educating the public in advancing health for all, it's not simply about educating people, it's actually about understanding and listening to their concerns. We often think that we can throw in charts and facts, theories, insights, and this can move public opinion. And it actually can work. I have seen it with my own eyes. But what to do about people who we don't reach? who do not want to change. I believe the most effective strategy in these cases is to listen first and to listen more than speak, to make sure that we address not just minds, but also hearts. Ernest Hemingway said, when people talk, listen completely. Most people never listen. There's only so much that statistics and charts and theories can do. We're surrounded by people who have different lived experiences, and that's okay. That's what makes our world a great place. But along with these differences come differing realities. They may not believe or understand statistics the way we do because it's not part of their lives or their reality. We must take the time to listen to their concerns. We must take the time to address their fears one by one. Even the best public health campaigns reach the hearts before they reach the minds. It can start with a story, it can start with an anecdote, uh, it can start with the ability to speak to their interests and generate some common understanding and common purpose. At times we uh, falsely assume that people aren't interested or not able to understand the work that they do, that we do, but they are. And when you look deeper into their lives, you'll see their humanity, you'll see their reality. Perhaps they're simply trying to survive. Some are self-starters who've never accepted the rules. Others might have physical or economic or social barriers to getting a public health intervention like vaccination. Some might not have an access to a computer. Some might not even listen to the news. Their sole source of information might be social media. Too often, they simply may not trust us. In the words of journalist Laurie Garrett, public health is a trust. We are nowhere without it. Remember, different experiences equal different perspectives. It's our responsibility to meet people where they are. When we strive to understand people, we build trust. We're living in a world that we can reinvent right now. The processes that we used in the past can be undone. The inequalities we've seen exacerbated by the pandemic can be redressed, but without collective will, it may take centuries to address. We can do something different, but first we must listen. And as you take the virtual stage, I ask of you to think of ways in which you can speak to the heart, not just the minds of the people who surround you. I'm asking you to find ways to relate to the people you never speak to. We need your expertise right now. They need your expertise. I ask you to take the time just to listen 
just understand. And with that, let's start the show. Before we proceed, I encourage you to keep in touch. As a Dalalana School of Public Health alumnus, you're part of an extensive and supportive global network. Alumni are continuously helping each other and their public health systems to drive change. There are many ways to stay in touch with the school. Sign up to our newsletter. Don't forget to update your mailing address. And while I do have you here, please visit our alumni hub. Our advancement team is always looking for ways to keep in touch with you. And the link will be in the chat box. And lastly, please join the alumni associations. They host events all year long that I know will appeal to you and will provide a lasting and meaningful connection to the school. Now, your professors were all very eager to see you graduate in person, but given public health restrictions, they recorded messages to congratulate you on your big day. And let me add my congratulations to theirs. Now, take it away. Congratulations, Dalalana School of Public Health graduate students. You've reached the finish line, and wow, under what conditions you've done this. I'm Dion Gessink, the Associate Dean Academic Affairs, and I'm so impressed with what you've been able to achieve. These have been incredible times for public health and for society as a whole. It's an incredible time of transition and change, and you have managed to not only make it through that, but also achieve your degrees. That is incredible. You really have these beautiful, bright futures ahead of you, and I'm so confident in your abilities to really, really achieve and make this world a better place. Congratulations again. On behalf of all IHPME faculty and staff, we wish all IHPME Dalalana graduates many congratulations. We are so proud of your significant achievement, and we wish you much success and we hope that you will continue to engage with the IHPME Dalalana community as you move to the next stages of your career. All the best. Hi everyone, congratulations on such an amazing accomplishment. We are so thankful that our paths crossed, virtually in some cases, um, and we're just really, really excited for everything you've done and are about to do in the world. Uh, we look forward to keeping in touch and wish you all the very best. Congratulations again. Take care. Congratulations, MHSC graduates. What a long journey this has been. We hope the last two years have been rich and challenging and that you walk away with a sense of accomplishment from all that you've learned, all that you've gained and the relationships you've built. We hope you've also had a lot of fun. Certainly, as faculty teachers in the MHSC program, We've also gained greatly from our time with you, the new insights you offered, the experiences you shared, and the knowledge you brought into the classroom. And now, in your next steps, we look forward to following you, following where you're going to go with your bioethics degree, and hope and hope that you will continue to call the Joint Center for Bioethics in the University of Toronto home. In the meantime, enjoy your summer, relish in this accomplishment, and do stay in touch. We look forward to seeing you soon. Congratulations. To the graduating class in the Division of Clinical Public Health, congratulations. What a remarkable achievement. Think of all that you've overcome in completing your studies during the disruption of the COVID pandemic. I do hope that your time with us at the Dalalana School of Public Health provides you with the skills and competencies that you will need to apply as we go out and go forward uh, to build and rebuild our health systems after COVID-19. It's remarkable that you've chosen public health and I commend you for this and I look forward to your leadership, your skills, your passion and your contribution to, include, uh, to improving the health of Canadians. Good luck and stay in touch. Congratulations, SBHS Social and Behavioral Health Sciences graduates. Well, you've done it. It's been quite an interesting last year. Uh, congratulations and best wishes as you move forward. Remember us, come back, join us, enrich us, help us learn how to do even better. Good luck in your future pursuits. Public health needs you now more than ever. I'm so very proud of your accomplishments. Your years of hard work and dedication have finally paid off. There's no better time to start the next chapter of your career journey as a graduate of the School of Public Health. 
in these difficult times. I'm confident that with your knowledge and passion about public health, we will make a difference together. I wish you all the very best and much continued success in your life ahead. Hello, DLSPH grads. I'm Professor Rosella, the PhD Epidemiology Program Director. And I'm here to wish all of you my sincerest congratulations on your incredible accomplishments. You should all feel so proud for what you've just achieved. It's an incredible milestones. And you now have the skills, training, and experience to improve the society we live in, to make our society healthier for everyone, to champion health equity, and to impact the lives of millions and billions around the world. Just think for a moment about how impactful that is. A special note to those students graduating from the PhD Epidemiology program. I want to thank you for your contributions. It's been such an honor to work with each of you. You have all made your mark and I want to emphasize how proud I am of the deep and rich contributions you have made to the discipline of epidemiology and to the rigor in the practice of public health. I could not be more proud of your accomplishments and while I am very sad not to be celebrating with you in person, I hope you can feel my pride and my positive energy that I'm sending your way today. We will be together soon and I can't wait to hear about how you are contributing to a healthier society for all. Congratulations to the 2021 Dalana School of Public Health graduates. Hello, I'm Blake Poland, the Interim Director of the PhD Program in Social and Behavioral Health Sciences. On behalf of all the faculty in SBHS, I want to congratulate those of you who are graduating this summer. It's a huge achievement under any circumstances, but particularly in the context of a pandemic. And it's been such a joy to accompany you in your learning journey. I wish you well. It's such an opportune moment to be graduating and contributing to the greater good and to the needed shifts in society. Thank you. Take care.
congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. It's been such an amazing journey and I would not have been able to make it without the amazing friends that we've made in the Masters of Bioethics class. I look forward to hearing about all the places that you will go and working with you guys in the future. Take care! My name's Olivia. And I'm Megan. And we're graduating from the MPH Health Promotion Program. And we're going to be celebrating from Waterloo. I'm so grateful for my family who has supported me throughout this program. And um, I wouldn't have been able to get through the program without all of my friends who have met at Delana, be that on the 7th floor lounge, talking about school and talking about life, or in the countless Zoom calls this year. We definitely were able to get through the program successfully together. Congratulations, U of T class of 2021. I want to thank the faculty, the professors, and my friends for an amazing two years of grad school. And I want to wish each and every one of you best of luck in the future. Be bold, be courageous, be willing to challenge yourself to learn and grow, and be also be willing to take chances. Thank you. I'm so grateful to IHPME for helping me to achieve my goal of becoming a clinician scientist at a world-leading centre like the University of Toronto. If you're just starting out, know that IHPME will be there to see you through right to the finish. So long and thanks for all the fish. I'm so grateful for all the help I've had in getting through the MPH from profs, practicum supervisors, classmates, friends, roommates, my fiancé and family. It helps to have a little furry friend. Hi everyone, today I'm joining you from the traditional ancestral and unceded territory of the Okanagan people in sunny Kelowna, BC. Happy graduation everyone. I'm officially a Dalalana School of Public Health alumni and I wouldn't have done this without the help of my family, friends, my professors and anyone and everyone who helped me through this journey. We did this together. I love you all. Bye. Congratulations, class of 2021. We did it, everyone. Thank you so much to all the staff and faculty at IHPME for all the support over the last few years. Hi, my name is Alexi, and I'd like to thank my friends and family for helping me get through this degree. I'd like to thank everyone that I've been able to learn from at Dalalan over the last two years. The learning experience has been incredible, and I wish everyone continued success over the next chapter. I'd also lastly like to thank my cousin Yurishi, who without I wouldn't have applied here in the first place. Congratulations class of 2021, we did it! Very thankful for the professors that supported us through this challenging time, as well as for my EMHI class that inspired me to always push forward. Take care and have a great summer. Hi, my name is Erica D. Ruggiero, and I'm the Director of the Center for Global Health and the Collaborative Specialization in Global Health. I wanted to extend my sincere congratulations to all of the DLSPH graduates this year. You did it. You did it at a really challenging time. Go out there and make us proud. I know you will. The world needs more health system and public health leaders now more than ever with a global health orientation. All the very best. Congratulations to all the 2021 graduates. You've all been busy working to figure out what comes after graduation, what comes next for you. And while this is good and natural, make sure that you stop and take the time to acknowledge all that you've accomplished. Those of you that are graduating today, you started your degree pre-COVID with you know in-person learning and all that goes along with that. And then you quickly had to pivot to online learning and remote practicums, all within the context of a global pandemic and a local lockdown. This is no small feat. It's always important to stop and acknowledge accomplishments. And I think this is even more true these days where these moments can get lost in endless Zoom calls and meetings. So stop, take a breath, congratulate yourselves. Your experience in learning and completing a degree in public health during COVID will be a story that you tell for the rest of your career. I wish you all the best for whatever comes next, and I hope that you'll stay in touch.
My name is Julia Aline, and as Program Director of the Family and Community Medicine Streams for the Masters of Public Health and the Masters of Science Community Health, I am pleased to congratulate all of our graduates today. We know that you have worked hard, as demonstrated by your academic scholarship. I would like to leave you with a few words from a very old poem called the Desiretta. Enjoy your achievements as well as your plans. Keep interested in your own career, however humble. It's a real possession in the changing fortunes of time. We wish you the best of luck. Congratulations, MPH Indigenous Health students. It's been a rough year and you've had a, quite the success and a milestone today. And I wish you all the success in your future careers and continue your learning journey. I'm really proud of all the work that you have done during your time in the MPH and Indigenous Health, including all of the work that you did during COVID. Congratulations and miigwech. First, let me say I could not be prouder of the MPH Nutrition and Dietetics Class of 2021. What started out as any other first year quickly turned into something none of us had experienced before. And you rose to the challenge. Summer courses? Got it. Remote placements? Done. Online learning? Here for it. Remote proctored licensing exam? Absolutely. Virtual graduation? Welcome to the field. I have every confidence that you will make this world a better place.
Hi, I'm Abbas Gavan Rasul, and on behalf of the program faculty and staff, I want to congratulate the graduates of the Health Practitioner Teacher Education and Family and Community Medicine streams. Congratulations, Tanvi, Tez, Maria, Jordan, Leslie, and Sanjeev. And best wishes as you continue to work hard to improve the health of the people of Ontario and beyond. Well done.
Congratulations to everyone in the MHSC in Bioethics graduating class of 2021. You did extraordinary things in an extraordinary year. The faculty and the staff at the Joint Centre of Bioethics wish you all the best. The world is definitely awaiting the new knowledge and skills that you'll be bringing to it. Bravo and bravo to you all. Congratulations to the graduates of the MSc program in biostatistics. I am exceedingly proud of your accomplishments and confident that the same drive and perseverance that saw you through these challenging times will serve you well in your future endeavors. In a world where data are being generated more abundantly than ever, your skills to interpret that data correctly make you well poised to make an important contribution to society as biostatisticians or data scientists. I am very happy to have you join us as alumni of this program and offer you my best wishes. Congratulations to the MHI class of 2021. You made it. You're embarking your career at the beginning of a great boom in the informatics industry. Your skills, knowledge, and judgment are needed now more than ever before. I'm sure you will exceed our expectations. Go forth and prosper and keep in touch.
Hi, I am Jill Tinmouth, Director of Clinical Epidemiology and Healthcare Research. Congratulations to the class of 2021. You are graduating in unusual and challenging times. As we face these challenges, we need science. Scientists have an incredibly important role to play, not only to develop and study new vaccines, but to help identify and mitigate the healthcare disparities that have been amplified by the pandemic, to communicate the science to policymakers, and to champion the evidence to the person on the street. You are the future, the next generation of scientists, and I have seen what you can do. We are in good hands. Congratulations. Hello, I'm Peter Coit, Program Director for HSR. Today we congratulate those who are graduating from the HSR specialization and we wish you every career and life success. We recognize the costs you have incurred and the efforts that you have expended over the course of your graduate program. In becoming alumni for the largest educational offering within IHPME, we look to you for assistance in recruiting future trainees and in building networks of influence both in Canada and internationally. Again, congratulations on your achievements and we recognize that these successes would not have been possible without the support of your family and friends as well as gifted faculty. Congratulations. Congratulations, graduates. Today marks an important milestone in your career journey. This is a journey. This is not a destination. Keep marching forward and make a difference. concludes the Donald Lana School of Public Health's graduation celebration for the spring class of 2021. Before we let you go, I'd like you to take this time to pause and thank your biggest supporters. It could be your parents, your family, your friends. Those people have been with you every step of the way. Are they with you? Take the time, please, to thank them. Thank your classmates who have helped enrich your journey. I encourage you to thank them personally for the support. Give them a call after the celebration. Let's stay in touch. Sign up to our newsletters. Don't forget to update your mailing address. And lastly, join an alumni association. All the links will be in the chat box. I'm no longer your dean, and for some of you, your professor. I'm now your colleague, and I look forward to working with you soon. 
The UAT convocation is happening tomorrow. They'll be live streaming the proceedings as well. I encourage you to tune in. Thank you all.